Welcome to Extend Office. This guide provides a detailed, step by step approach to adding columns and column breaks in Word document. In this video, I will demonstrate how to add or remove columns in Word. Add or remove column break in Word. Create columns in a new Word document. Open a new document. Click Layout tab. Columns. Select from the predefined options like 2, 3, left or right to quickly set up columns. Here, I will select 2 option. Now, start typing your content. Word will populate the first column with text and then move to the start of the next column. By default, text in Word will automatically flow from the first column to the second only, after the first is completely filled. If you prefer not to fill the entire column before moving to the next, you can press Ctrl and Shift and Enter keys. This shortcut allows you to advance directly to the next column at any point. Create columns for existing text in Word. Select the text that you want to format multiple columns, or select all the text in the document if you want the entire content to be columnized. Then, click Layout tab. Columns. Select from the predefined options like 2, 3, left or right to quickly set up columns. Here, I will select three options. The selected text will immediately reformat into multiple columns you specified. Create custom columns in Word. Creating custom columns in Word allows for more flexibility and precision in designing document layouts. This section will walk you through the process of setting up custom columns in Word. Select the text or the whole document you want to format. Click Layout tab. Columns. More columns. In the Columns dialog box, specify the number of columns you want to format the text. Adjust the width of each column independently and modify the spacing between columns. If you don't want to have equal column width, Uncheck the Equal Column Width option, and adjust the column width to your need. Check the Line Between Columns option if you want to add a vertical line between your columns for clearer separation. From the Apply to section, choose Whole Document or Selected Text as you need. At last, click OK button. Now, the selected text or whole content has been formatted the new column structure. Remove columns in Word. To remove the column split, please do as this. Highlight the columnized text or the entire document if it's formatted into columns. Click Layout tab. Columns. 1. The text returns to the standard single column layout at once. Add column break in Word. Once you've created columns in your document, the text will automatically flow from one column to the next. If you want precise control over where each column begins, you can insert a column break. Put your cursor where you want to insert the column break. Then, click Layout. Breaks. Choose Column from the drop-down menu. Now, the text following the cursor will move to the top of the next column. Remove column break in Word. By default, breaks are hidden. First, you should show the breaks in your Word. Click the Show, Hide command on the Home tab. Column break will be shown at once. Double-click to select the column break. Press Delete key to remove the column break. Thanks for watching.